Hello everyone, how are you? We are just about ready for the show. Uh, the doors open up at 12 o'clock today. We're putting the final touches on. And Lisha asked me to describe a little bit about Cloverleaf Cathedral, which is one of my mm -hmm. signature images and which the people doing the um, promos for really liked a lot. So I, I don't know whether it's the color or what, but people really seem to be attracted to this. The cool thing about this fractal is it's a very small piece of a much larger one. Um, there are a couple of my pieces that have this fractal or parts of this fractal in it, but this was just a little snippet, like maybe this much of a much larger fractal, fractal called In the Great Hall. And what I saw was this kind of spiraling, kind of like a clover leaf on steroids. And it made me think of LA and the road systems and all these the energy of people moving through space and time and the echoes of them kind of like this I don't know freeways out of control but what was cool about it was the kind of colors involved and then if you really get close you can see these really intricate little shapes in here especially over here you'll see these little spheres those are actually the structure that form the entire fractal from outside. So if you were to see the entire structure, that's what it looks like before you get inside of it. It has some amazing, amazing um, detail to it. So deep. So this particular formula group is one that I've used for a couple of different of my fractals. If you go to the website, Juicy Sacred Living Under Fine Art, you'll see that there's Cloverleaf Cathedral, there's In the Great Hall is another one, that this is a snapshot from inside In the Great Hall. And then there's uh, Cathedral, uh, I'm sorry, Altar. And that Altar piece is slightly modified from this. But what I love is just the amount of intensity and saturation of color because I'm a colorist first and the form is really fun with that. And the feeling of energy, so that's it. Thanks for listening.